Oh, I guess now that I think about it, I shouldn't train everybody up to 29 because I have to go fight everybody in the gym. So after this one, after I beat this Machop, we're going to go straight to the gym and test the waters before we train all the way up. Hello, hello. I guess we'll fight everybody because I don't want to go really far away to train everybody up. Oh, yeah. I guess autistic slow. Uh, oh, fuck. Hail Zeon wants to learn Hypnosis, that's a pretty good move. Especially for trying to catch Pokemon. Ah, uh, what should we get rid of? Fucking... Um... Yeah, Uproar, you can go. We don't need Uproar, that's fine. Hail Zeon wants to learn Dizzy Punch, which I think... So what I... Oh, Stab Bonus, 70 power move that may confuse the foe. So almost as good as strength, and it confuses them. I think I like that. Um, I definitely like it more than faint attack. Even though faint attack always hits. Um, but I think psychic will be more, more valuable. So we'll get rid of faint attack for dizzy punch. I might use dizzy punch instead of strength in the gym, just because, you know, why not? Why not confuse their ass? All right, with that, everybody's level 27. Uh, the max is 29, so I don't want to get them too high before I go test the waters of the gym. And I have a Mumkey prediction for you guys. The last two gyms, the theme has been everything that Mumkey loves is going to die. And because Autistic and Hail Zeon are my two favorite Pokemon that I have right now, I've got a good feeling they're both going to die. If not, just I lose the whole Nuzlocke and everybody dies. But uh, let's, uh, let's get going to the gym and give it a shot. Accuracy room, okay. Yeah, this is the gym where every room has its own stupid gimmick. And they waste their first turn using like X attack and X accuracy and all that shit. Which is annoying and boring and gay. Delcaddy, oh, that's a new one. <laughs> My first thought was that she has Yu-Gi-Oh hair. Even though maybe it's not quite that, but... Uh, it doesn't look like it's an evolved Pokemon. Delcaddy is supposed to be a, like a big version of Skitty. It just looks like a, a little girl with giant Yu-Gi-Oh purple hair. Let's see how much a strength does. Yeah. I just noticed that Autistic has Howl, which... In, oh, I guess you didn't use X accuracy. Oh, I guess because Shockwave never misses anyway. Uh, maybe I'll try to pull out my Risky Maneuver from the Electric Gym. And I can put things to sleep. Goddamn motorcycle outside. Put things to sleep with... With, uh, Spinda. And then Howl Autistic up. Which I think I learned is a bad strategy and don't try it. <laughs> so I don't know why I am I'm thinking about it. Wigglytuff. I think that's a new one too. Uh, it's another one where I just want to say, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's a Wigglytuff, all right, sure. Uh, doesn't leave any impression, good or bad. I'll give it a 5 out of 10, I don't really care. Not a, not a fan of those giant green eyes myself. Let's go for it. Oh, God, how much is that gonna do? Oh, okay. Maybe Autistic isn't the best choice for this gym, but what else do I fucking have? Hey, there's my my guardian angel swallow again. That one that I liked. Let's see if this Pokemon kicks my ass too. So far, every fucking trainer is kicking my ass, and I'm almost on the brink of death every time. <sighs> so if Norman is three times stronger than these trainers, which he is, I just I have really bad feelings about this gym. Every single fucking Pokemon I fight, I have to go heal up afterwards because I'm almost dead. Uh, go hail Zeon. Let's see, if one attack does over half your health, then I think I just have to surrender. I think I'm done. Oh, Hyper Potion, fuck you. Fine, let's see if hail Zeon can pull off some cool tricks, baby. There's baby again, okay. Ooh, how much is this gonna do? Uh, ah, fuck, that's gonna piss me off. Go for Dizzy Punch. No, get killed by a crit. Yeah. 
confuse his fucking ass. Oh, I didn't confuse him? Okay, <laughs> well. I guess we go to Pulsai. If a level 26 Swallow takes my whole team, I think I'm just done. This gym is way too tough. Oh. Oh. Do I have anybody else who has Intimidate? Because I could just keep switching back and forth between them to bring the enemy down to zero. Zero attack power. But I don't think I do. I think Gyarados might be my only Intimidator. Unless... Mighty Anna? Could Mighty Anna do that? I... Huh. Do I want to go train up Puchina to use double Intimidate? I think. And it's especially fun when Slate King every other turn has to loft around. Um... Let's go see... If my Puchina would learn... Intimidate. Or does it already have it? Maybe it already has it. I don't remember. I'll take a look. Oh, it has run away. Does it keep that when it evolves? I'll look on Bulbapedia. Mightyena either has Intimidate or Quick Feet. And it evolves at level 18, so maybe I will go evolve him real quick just to see. Just to see. Alright, here we go. We already know what Mightyena looks like. What in the fuck? Sounds like a tornado siren outside. We already know what Mighty Anna looks like, and we know that I like it. But do we know if it has Intimidate? That's what we're about to find out. Yeah. Okay. That Was this one the, the autistic, awkward girl at a convention? Anyway, let's see if it has Intimidate. And if it does, this might be a whole new ball game. Intimidate. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear those sirens outside, so hopefully you can't. Wow, it's really going. Is that a tornado? I'm gonna go fucking look. Okay, I don't know what all those sirens and shit are. But I guess it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna waste the next three years training again. The real question is, who do I replace on the team with Mighty Anna? It'll either be Autistic or Hail Zeon. So let's take a look at who has the better stats. 40 attack, 48 attack. 40 defense, 33 defense, fuck. Okay. Um, the rest of it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Man, I guess since Hail Zeon has higher defense and higher speed, it's probably better to use him, even though he has a slightly lower attack. Okay. So strategy will be Spinda takes on... Spinda takes on Spinda. Then Jokey, motherfucking Jokey, takes on. Uh, he double kicks Vigoroth and Lenoon to death. Hopefully, hopefully that's what happens. And then when Slay King comes out, we keep double switching, baby. We go Mighty Anna. We go uh, Pulsai back and forth. Keep intimidating him to get his attack power down to nothing. Of course, if he gets a critical hit then he gets all his attack power back anyway, and we're dead. So, <laughs> I mean, but that, that's that's going to happen regardless. So we keep switching back and forth. Hopefully by this point we have some potions saved up that we can use. And then once we get him down to, like, <laughs> no attack at all, I guess that's when I start firing off those dragon rages. I think that's a logical strategy. And the best part is, the best part of the whole thing is that Quinlan and Pulsai are entirely expendable to me. I don't care if either of them die. I actually wish that Quinlan was dead because I hate him so much. So I think we have a good strategy. Now I just need to waste three years training Quinlan up to level 27 and we're golden. And we're fucking golden, okay. Okay, we have the new team already. So we're gonna continue fighting through the gym I guess I don't probably want to use Quinlan at the front. We'll continue fighting through the gym, and after we beat them all, we'll make sure everybody's 29, and then finally, finally we'll fight that fucking gym leader, our goddamn dad, Norman. Stormin' Norman. The one-hit KO room. Mmm, um, not looking forward to this one, boys. Uh, who's at the front? Jokey? Okay. 
Uh, well, uh, I hope they don't actually mean it that it's a one-hit KO room. I hope, hopefully, Jokey's double kick is a one-hit KO. Who the hell are you using, Vigoroth? Okay, well, Jokey is expecting to fight a Vigoroth of equal level, I think. So if, if we can't beat it now, why would we be able to beat it later? Go for the double kick. Oh, God, here it comes. Uh, no, that wasn't one hit KO. You're a fucking liar. Mmm, uh, oh, hey, I got the crit. But now if he gets a crit, Jokey is dead. <laughs> Do I think he's using a potion? Is that worth the risk? Either he uses a potion and then I should stay in, or he uses Slash again, gets a crit, and Jokey's dead. I guess better safe than sorry. We'll go to Pulsai. Even if you get a crit on Pulsai, you're not killing him. Yeah, lower that attack. Okay, he used the potion anyway. It's all good. Uh, let's, let's see if Dragon Rage does over half. I don't want to play your games today, boy. Nah, fuck him up. Shit. Focus energy. Focus energy plus slash. Here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Okay. Strength finish him off. We have to finish him off. Ah, fuck. Bye, Pulsai. <laughs> no, d even a crit wouldn't have done shit. Get fucked. Wow, Pulsai has really good defense. Maybe I should use him for more than just the Intimidate strategy, because he's kicking ass. He's really good. Hmm, Jokey wants to bulk up. Hey, okay. Boost attack and defense. That could be useful. I think that would be useful. Fuck off Growl. Yeah. Because we need our defense boosted for sure. Maybe Spinda can put something to sleep. But I'm not going to rely on that too much. Maybe I'll use Spinda to bait him into using a potion with his Spinda. And then I can bulk up, and then before I die, I can use my, my potion. Okay. Okay. Let's go heal up. No, we gotta train up. We gotta get everybody up to 29. So I guess I'll run all the way back to the Mount Chimney and do that. <sighs> and then we're gonna do this thing, and we're gonna lose the whole thing. Catch em, catch em, gotta catch em all, gotta catch em all.